Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Spiegelberg Stadium. Time for the annual black and blue football game. Demi DeSoto along with Tom Rusepke here tonight. And so you're saying, wait a minute, don't they do different games? Well, no, tonight we're doing them together. Yeah. So welcome aboard. Yeah, it's good good to be aboard. Uh, yeah, it's strange for the South crowd to be the visitors, but it changes every year. Yeah, so we'll show you around the, the field tonight a little bit. But tonight, the big annual game, North and South, uh, South ranked very high. Got some scouts here tonight. Coach Johnson from the Ducks is here tonight. Yeah. And uh, he's here to take a look at a couple players probably one in particular uh i would think mr coda yeah yeah, yeah. Well, and, and for good reason you know and he had his best game of the year in terms of touches and numbers a week ago at south salem so he's really finally getting healthy not many people know that he really was a little banged up over the summer he was at camps and that sort of thing uh and he really wasn't working with robbie so much in the summer and it took three, four games for him to get uh, get on track. Get that timing down. And you can see South back here behind us doing their warm-ups. we got 43 minutes to go until a countdown. Uh, and, of course, as you see, as we kind of turn around, you got this guy. You got Beej. Get over here, Beej. This guy has like a history that, you know, that rivals. So Beej is here. And uh, this is uh, sweatshirt number 32 in the Linfield series. <laughs> yes, it is. You're not wearing your Fresno State sweatshirt? Uh, I haven't gotten one yet. You said you had one. I lost it. Oh, man. Now, he's going to want you to wear a San Jose State sweatshirt. Yeah, but I've got one all-important tie that he is missing. You know, when, when it comes down to uh, special events like this past weekend, and I didn't get the call from you, normally Beej asked me for my beautiful purple tie. Man, I Linfield was looking purple. for it, but I forgot. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what it is. So, Beej, you've been, you've been to a few of these games. What do you think of what this means to the community? Oh, it means everything. It's the city of Medford. I've been here since 1967. Part of the Spiegelberg Stadium now, and uh, it's just Friday night football in Medford. You can't get better than this. Yeah, so we'll probably have 10,000 people here tonight screaming, yelling. It's a beautiful night, no smoke, a, a great time here. As you look back over our shoulder, you can see the North kids over there. They've got their setup all over there. They took their panorama early. They're all you know psyched up as we continue to move around. You can see back over here, North warming up back this way. They're getting their setup all set up. Back here, if you can even see down in the corner, there's a barbecue down there. If you come on down, you can get yourself some great grub. We saw Brian Schnee doing his uh, live shot for Channel 10. And then later tonight, there'll be the uh, Friday Night Football. Who you got coming down to the studio tonight? Phoenix Pirates, the 10th ranked Phoenix Pirates from the Skyline Conference. They're at Hidden Valley tonight, and so you'll have to find out if they're going to be happy Pirates or uh, angry Pirates. Yeah, and then their coach, Gale, used to be on the staff here at North Medford. Yeah. Javin used to be sharing quarterback duties last year yeah. with Josh Robbins. Now he's got his own team down there. Yeah, those are the, you know, you can really look at those two as the reason. I know Coach Gale was there a year ago, but Javin going there really has lifted the spirits and really changed what's going on in Phoenix. So now over here, you got this whiteout going on back behind us over here this way. Here you see the South crew back there we want to get everybody to get up everybody's gonna get up somebody's gonna see this everybody get up come on get up let's see they're not like trained animals come on get up over there oh they didn't do it for us there you go get up get up get up there you go okay there you go there we go we're gonna get it you watch this there it is make some noise make, make some noise there you go See? It's like trained monkeys. Yeah, yeah. You know, the reaction time was slower than trained monkeys, but, you know, the, the reaction time was slower than trained monkeys. But I think with uh, repeated work with them, we'll probably get them to stand sooner than that next time. All right, so now we're going to turn around and get the North kids to do it. So come over here this way. All right, you guys over here. You guys over here. Come on, let's walk this way. Follow us over this way. We're going to... Oh, you're gonna get single. You get? Did you get? I, I got. I got Bill. All right. Well, so we're gonna take you over here. We'll show. We'll show you this over here. We're gonna walk over here. We're an equal opportunity broadcaster too. So come on over this way. All right. Get up, everybody. Get up, everybody. Get up, everybody. All right. So we gave them a chance. So here we go. All right, now we're going to go back this way. Now we're going to come back this way. And we're going to go back over this way. Here they come. All right, Beach, you're going to get these guys going over here. So tonight's game going to be hitting off at 7 o'clock. We'll see some great football action out here tonight. 
And now we're going to give them a chance. Let's go talk to our military guys. They're running the chain gang tonight. Yes, yes they are. So we're going to come over here. We're going to talk to Sergeant Spangler. All right, Sergeant Spangler, tell me who's on your crew tonight. Now, they're, they're going to be running the chain gang tonight, so you know things are going to be right exactly on the yard mark. So tell me about Absolutely. your crew. Absolutely. Um, I've got Staff Sergeant Suda here. They're a little loud. Sounds kind of pumped tonight. We've got Staff Sergeant Suda, and we also have a uh, new recruit. He'll probably be leaving in a few weeks. Uh, private gentleman just joined. Um, we're gonna, it's going to be a good game tonight. We're going to run the chains and probably get the best view of the whole game. I know. You have the best view of the whole game. All right, so let's get over here and get these guys. All right, here we go. Coming over here now. All right, here we go. All right, ready? Here we go. So is there anything better than high school football on a Friday night? I tell you, Medford, Oregon, it doesn't get any better than this. South Medford, North Medford kicking it off tonight. The Black and Blue Bowl. Tune in on Table Rock Sports at 7 o'clock for the kickoff. 6.30, just a few minutes from now, we'll be on with the pregame show. Demi DeSoto at Spiegelberg Stadium.